Hey guys, I'm Bethany and welcome back to my channel. So today is a very exciting video and it's gonna be all about my wedding, which is so fun. So I've been really wanting to do a video just sharing all the details about my wedding. Not really the vendors because unless you live in a small town in Alabama, it's not gonna be very helpful for you. It's not like I live in like New York City or LA where there's vendors that you could use, but I am gonna tell you kind of where I got all of like the details, the bridesmaids dresses, that kind of thing, just to kind of be helpful because I know when I first got engaged, this video would have been super helpful. Also, by the way, I'm Bethany, don't know if I mentioned that. I make faith lifestyle content. I just got married. Tomorrow it will be a month ago, which is crazy. I'm just gonna show you all the things. I'm also going to link everything that I can find down below so you can easily find it and buy it for yourself if you are about to get married. If you are, congratulations. That is so exciting, it's such a special season. And if I can help it make, help you be less stressed, this is hopefully the goal here. Also, I'm planning on doing a video like tips for wedding planning. So that video will be coming soon too. But first, we're just gonna talk about all the wedding details. I have pretty much everything here and the things that I don't have here. I will be inserting photos. Actually, even if I have them here, I'm gonna insert wedding photos of what they looked like or like a little clip of what it looks like. So the first thing is we're gonna start off with like kind of what I was wearing. Um, like jewelry, lips, um, a garter, things like that. First thing is my wedding day robe. So I got this with my wedding day robe off Etsy. You will see it in the video. I hope I'm like centered. There we go. I will like insert me wearing it because, and like a clip of it, because um, I'm obsessed with it. It was so cute. It was pretty expensive for a wedding robe, but I'm so glad that I got it because I love how the pictures turned out. I do know that when I was looking on Etsy, because I got it from Etsy, that I like went through my purchases and when I bought it, and I wasn't really able to find like, it like just disappeared. So I don't know if it's like out of stock, if the business isn't selling it anymore. So I'll try to find something similar online or on Etsy to kind of help you because I know it was a very specific thing that I wanted. I really wanted a long rope with lace sleeves. So I'll try to find something similar, but I love my robe and it's from Etsy. You, if you don't want that style and there's other styles that you want, Etsy's a great place. And that's where I got like so many of my things for my wedding, you'll probably notice. So next thing is my garter. So I actually have it. This is what it looks like, super cute. I just got a simple lace one. It actually comes with one for you and then one for you to throw away. Not throw away, but like, you know, throw to the single girls. Super cute, super simple, pretty and expensive. Also got it off Etsy. Now onto my shoes. These shoes are just little nude heels and they are from Lulu's. I loved them, I actually wore them for um, my bridal shower and for my rehearsal dinner and they're very comfortable, very cute. The pictures of them turned out really cute too. I wanted something that I could easily like, that I would be comfortable in, that weren't a huge tall heel but would look good in photos. Because if you don't know, your wedding photographer usually takes detail shots of everything, like your garter, your shoes, your rings, all that stuff. So like, I really wanted to keep her shoes, but it doesn't really matter. And these are actually super cheap. They're like 30 bucks, I'm pretty sure. Next are my earrings that I bought, my, that I wore. This is actually the only jewelry that I wore besides my like what, I mean my engagement ring. They're just rose gold studs. I got them off Amazon. I will like insert obviously a photo of what they look like. I really like them. They were super simple and they matched my wedding band because it's um, my engagement ring and wedding band, which are rose gold. So speaking of my engagement ring and my wedding band, they're both from Kay's and his and his wedding band is also from Kay, Kay Jewelers. I won't show where I got my wedding dress, but I will um, put the brand name because that might help you find it. I don't remember the brand name and I don't have the dress with me, but I will put that on the screen for you to see and kind of pictures of what it looked like. And also in the pictures you will see, I got a hanger that says Mrs. Corbett on it. I got that made off Etsy. I loved it. It was so cute and I just love how the photos turned out with it. Next is my like lip product because actually I did get my makeup and hair done, but I picked out my own lip product because I wanted to have it throughout the day to reapply. So the lip like stick or lip balm, whatever, that I used, I actually already had, and it's this Revlon lip product in pink something. I literally cannot see it. But if I can find it, I will link it below and put the name on the screen. But the lip gloss I used is this Maybelline Lifter Gloss in um, Ice. And just I really liked it. It was a simple nudie pink combo. Next, I will go on to the Bridesmaids. First, the first gift that I got them 
was this little bracelet and that said had their initial on it and it said it's it was a bracelet with a knot and it says i couldn't tie the knot without you super cute also from etsy so that's what i like when i asked them to be my bridesmaids that's what i gave them but on the wedding the day before the wedding at the rehearsal dinner i gave them a gift and i got them bridesmaid like robes blush pink robes i actually showed them in my wedding week vlog if you want to see that they're also from etsy and then i got them these scrunchies they're super cute these champagne scrunchies i have one because i got one for myself these are also from etsy and then the box that i put them in i actually got from amazon and they're just like boxes you assemble they just come like not assembled and you get like 10 so i still have some left so i got those from amazon and then i wrote like little notes for them for the wedding like to put in their boxes and i just got these blank four by six cards and envelopes from amazon also their dresses are actually from birdiegray.com they were pretty inexpensive for bridesmaid dresses and they also came within like a week which is very great because if you're looking for bridesmaid dresses most places take like six to eight weeks it takes a long time for bridesmaid dresses to come in so that's where i got that and speaking of that my flower girl dress i got at jjshouse.com and then i got her this flower girl i got also got her a robe it's from etsy it was from the same place they just made smaller sizes and then I got her this little bracelet with her initial on it, also from Etsy. And then when I asked her to be my flower girl, I got her this little puzzle with her name, her like names on it, and the letters were part of the puzzle. Puzzle That is also from Etsy. I also got like crinkle paper for the bridesmaid gifts and the flower girl gifts. That's also from Amazon. A lot of this stuff I showed in my wedding week vlog, so you might have seen it before, but I'll still link it. Now I'll go on to like the invitations, thank you cards, things like that. These I actually found on Etsy, like the um, template. And then I got them printed at a local printing shop. So that's what I recommend for like going the cheap route with invitations because it's like, it was probably like maybe $10 on Etsy to like get the digital download and then you just send it to the printing shop and they print it for you. And you also get envelopes most of the time. If they don't give them to you, you can ask for them. And that makes it easier just to mail them. So I did very simple with the invitations. Then I also got a stamp for the back of the invitations that says Bethany and Ethan and the return address and I think it just made it cuter. So this, the stamp is from Amazon. There's a bunch of different like designs. You can also get it off Etsy but I felt, I felt as though Amazon was cheaper and quicker at arriving so I got that and I also used it for the thank you cards. And the thank you cards actually, they come in this box of like 120. I still have some left but they say thank you from the new Mr. and Mrs. Then they just come with brown envelopes and then these cute little thank you stickers i really love them i really loved how simple they were i feel like i'm kind of going all, all over the place but another detail is i bought this um blush pink ring box you can ask your photographer if you're like have a specific vibe in mind if they have the color ring box that you're wanting and i asked my photographer she didn't have a blush pink and i really wanted a blush pink just in the photos so i got this ring box off of amazon it was like 15 dollars, kind of expensive but it's super cute and i loved how the photos turned out so also the suits that the grooms that the groom and the groomsmen wore were from a local suit place so that's not very helpful but it was just like a cream suit they have quite a few options but i got the lightest one so it was a suit it was not a tux so now we are going to go on to like all of the decor for the actual wedding day. So first we're going to start off with the guest book table. But I decided for my guest book to do a Bible where they highlight their favorite verse and sign it. And we, me and Nathan have been looking through this and it's really sweet and really fun. I'm so glad that we did, chose to do that. So I just got this simple white Bible. I think it's actually one that you can like draw on. But obviously I didn't want to do that. I just wanted it to be white. So it's just a simple uh, journaling ESV journaling bible it's from amazon and then i got these pins and highlighters they're like these pins and these highlighters both from amazon as well and then i had them in this basket and this is just from a thrift store that's a great place to find things it's just the thrift store so any photo any baskets and photos that you see were thrifted behind my guest book table i had a tapestry and it had first Corinthians 13 on it and it's from society six i think i got it on sale and i really like it i loved how it turned out i just thought it was really cute i actually planned to have it like with my arbor at the like ceremony at, at the end of the aisle but i changed my mind and i'm really glad i changed my mind on that so but i just used it at the guest book table and also on the guest book table was this wedding wishes jar that i just thrifted and then all the vases like the little skinny vases were gifted to me from one of me and ethan's friends 
so I can't really tell you where those are from, but Walmart, thrift stores, that's where you can find some vases. And then next for like pretty much everywhere, like all the tables that were out in the wedding, I had framed photos. So here's one of them. And so these frames are from Amazon. They come in a pack of four. And then I have another frame, like there's a couple other frames that weren't like these and those are from Walmart, so. And then I just got them, obviously got the frames printed or the pictures printed at Walmart and then framed them. So all of my signs that said like, like my Bible, my guestbook sign, my um, sparkler sign, all that stuff, I made those signs on Photoshop. I actually vlogged some of that, so I showed kind of how to do it. And then the like frames that they were in, I already had, but they're from Walmart. They're just simple like square little things. And then the white little holders that I had them in are from Amazon. And the next sign is the welcome sign. The welcome like digital download is actually from Etsy. And then I got it locally printed on the big sign. So any local print shop will print, like you can print very big signs. So that's where I got that. That's the pretty much the only sign that we actually paid for because the rest I made on Photoshop. During the ceremony at the end of the aisle was a copper arbor. And my dad actually made that for me. All the pieces that he got were from Lowe's. You can just get it at any like home store, but you can find copper arbors on Etsy. That's kind of where I got the inspiration, but they are pretty expensive. And I feel like you can, if you know somebody that you can make it, they can make it cheaper. And if you live locally, you can always DM me or comment or something and we can like sell it to you because we don't have anything where to, anywhere to use it now that the wedding's over. So if you're looking for a copper arbor, you can let me know and I can sell you the one we have. But if you don't live locally, you can buy it on Etsy or um, get somebody to make it for you. Next is my cake topper. So it's just this little copper um, cake topper that says B heart E. It's from Etsy. I actually saw a picture on Pinterest of a cake with this cake topper and that's kind of where I got the inspiration from. You can get it personalized to whatever your initials are. So that's from Etsy. And then the last few things, the sparklers that I got are from Walmart. You can just get wedding sparklers, pretty cheap. And then the sparkler bucket that I had the sparklers in is from um, Amazon. And obviously all the flowers that were on the arbor were from my florist, so. So I think that is everything for my wedding. This is a very long video, but I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to subscribe. I make faith, lifestyle content, all that stuff. And I would love it for you to stick around. You can follow me on Instagram. And I think that's it. So I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.